Imagine our world turned upside down, thrown into chaos by an unstoppable, terrifying force, a zombie apocalypse. Picture our bustling city streets now desolate, save for the moaning, shambling undead, our once safe homes, now a battleground where every corner could hide an insidious threat. The familiar twisted into a nightmarish reality. As terrifying as it sounds, understanding our enemy is the first step to survival. First, let's delve into the most classic depiction, the slow, shuffling zombies. They're a staple of the genre from George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead to the modern Walking Dead series. These zombies are often characterized by their slow speed. They're not the sprinters, the ones that'll chase you down a deserted city street. They're the shufflers, the walkers, the ones that never seem to be in a hurry. But don't let their leisurely pace fool you. Their speed or lack thereof is not their defining trait, it's their relentless persistence. When it comes to intelligence, these slow walkers aren't exactly rocket scientists, they're driven by a primal instinctive hunger. They don't strategize, they don't plan, they don't think, they simply exist to consume. Their world is reduced to an eternal quest for their next meal. While it may seem like their limited intelligence would be a disadvantage, it actually makes them more dangerous. They're not distracted by complex thoughts or emotions, they're singularly focused on their mission to feed. And then there's the issue of numbers. A single slow walker might not pose much of a threat. You could probably outrun it or, if you're feeling brave, take it down with a well-placed blow to the head. But these zombies rarely come alone. They travel in hordes, turning their slow, steady pace into a relentless wave of undead. Their strength lies in their numbers and their relentlessness. They don't tire, they don't stop, they just keep coming. Even the best fortifications can eventually fall to the constant pressure of a zombie horde. Slow walkers may not be the most terrifying type of zombie on the surface, but underestimate them at your peril. Their slow speed and limited intelligence are balanced by their relentless persistence and sheer numbers. So while they may not be the quickest or the smartest, they're still a formidable force. While slow, these zombies pose a serious threat due to their sheer numbers and relentless pursuit. So remember, in a world of slow walkers, it's not about how fast you run, but how long you can keep running. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the sprinters, fast and ferocious. These are not your average shambling undead. They're quick on their feet, aggressive, and often display a pack mentality. Sprinters have been popularized in recent years through various media, and they've given a whole new meaning to the term dead run. They're the cheetahs of the zombie world, if you will, capable of pursuing their prey with alarming speed. But it's not just their speed that's concerning. These zombies are also characterized by their heightened aggression. Unlike the slow walkers, who may seem almost passive unless provoked, sprinters are always on the hunt. They are relentless, showing no signs of fatigue or hesitation. They are driven by an insatiable hunger and will stop at nothing to satisfy it. This aggression is amplified by their pack mentality. Sprinters often move in groups, their collective hunger making them a formidable force. Imagine a wolf pack, but instead of wolves, it's undead beings with an unquenchable thirst for human flesh. Their pack behavior also suggests a level of coordination. They don't just randomly run around. They hunt, they chase, they surround. It's as if they retain a shadow of their former predatory instinct, making them all the more terrifying. These characteristics make sprinters a much more immediate and violent threat. They're not the kind of zombies you can simply outwalk. They demand a more proactive approach, a need for quick thinking and even quicker actions. And here's something to consider. While slow walkers represent a slow but inevitable doom, Sprinters symbolize an immediate, violent end. It's a difference of a creeping dread versus sudden terror. They are the embodiment of our fear of the sudden, unexpected dangers that can leap out at us from the shadows. In the grand scheme of things, sprinters remind us that the undead are not just a monolithic group. They have their own types and behaviors, each posing a unique set of challenges to survival. Speed and aggression make these zombies a much more immediate danger. But as we'll see in the next segment, there are more types of zombies to consider, each with their own quirks and survival strategies. Now imagine if zombies could think, strategize, or even remember their past lives. This is where we enter the realm of the thinkers, a type of zombie that isn't just driven by a primal hunger for human flesh. These are the zombies that can scheme, manipulate, and exploit. 
making them a truly formidable adversary. Thinkers are a stark departure from the traditional depictions of zombies we've discussed so far. They're not just mindless creatures shambling towards their next meal. They could be lurking in the shadows, setting traps, or planning an ambush. This level of cunning and strategy adds a whole new layer of danger as it challenges our preconceived notions of what a zombie is capable of. The idea of a zombie retaining aspects of its past intelligence is terrifying. Imagine a former locksmith zombie that can pick locks, or a zombie ex-military officer who remembers tactical maneuvers. This is the stuff of nightmares as it makes them unpredictable, and unpredictability is a survivalist's worst enemy. The possibility of zombies using tools further complicates matters. Imagine a zombie wielding a crowbar or a chainsaw. Yes, it's a chilling thought, but it's one we must confront if we're to survive in a world overrun by thinkers. When it comes to survival strategies against the thinkers, traditional methods might not cut it. Barricades and hiding spots might not be enough when the enemy can strategize and exploit weaknesses. So, we need to step up our game. We need to think like the thinkers. We need to strategize, set traps, and always stay one step ahead. In this world, it's not enough to be physically strong. We must also be mentally agile. We need to anticipate their moves and outwit them at their own game. This is a chess match where the stakes couldn't be higher. And to win, we must be both the king and the queen, the rook and the bishop, the knight and the pawn. Their retained intelligence makes these zombies a nightmare scenario. But remember, knowledge is power. The more we understand how these zombies think, the better our chances of survival. So keep learning, keep strategizing, and above all, keep surviving. Finally, there are the instinctive eaters, driven purely by their hunger for flesh. These are the zombies that are often portrayed in popular media, the ones that are always on the hunt, always on the prowl, never satiated. Their craving for flesh is not a desire, it's a compulsion, an instinct, an unquenchable thirst that pushes them forward. It's the only thing that matters to them. These zombies are not burdened by fear. They don't understand danger. They don't comprehend risk. All they know is hunger and the need to feed. This lack of fear makes them relentless, tireless in their pursuit. They'll walk into a burning building if they think there's a chance of a meal on the other side. They'll ignore injuries, pain, obstacles. Nothing will deter them from their quest for sustenance. This single-minded focus on feeding can make them seem simple, easy to outwit. But that would be a mistake, because their behavior is driven by instinct, not thought. It's unpredictable. They don't follow patterns. They don't have routines. They are not bound by logic or reason. They are creatures of impulse, and that makes them incredibly hard to anticipate. Now, you might think that this lack of strategy, this unpredictability would make them less dangerous, but it's actually the opposite. The fact that they can't be reasoned with, can't be negotiated with, means that they can't be controlled. They won't stop until they've fed, and if you're in their path, they won't stop until they've fed on you. So how do you survive against a foe that is relentless, fearless, and unpredictable? You stay out of their way. You avoid them at all costs. You keep moving. You keep quiet. You make yourself as invisible as possible. Because the moment they sense you, the moment they smell you, they will come for you. And they won't stop until they've caught you. These zombies are unpredictable, making them incredibly dangerous. The instinctive eaters are a force to be reckoned with, and survival against them requires caution, stealth, and a healthy respect for their insatiable hunger. Knowing our enemy, we can devise survival strategies tailored to each zombie type. Let's revisit each of the types we've discussed and outline the best ways to stay alive. For the slow walkers, patience and precision are your best allies. These creatures are sluggish but relentless. Your survival strategy here should be to keep moving and avoid getting cornered. Don't waste energy on unnecessary fights, instead focus on a steady, consistent escape. Next up, the sprinters. Speed is their strength, but they often lack the endurance of their slower counterparts. Outrunning them might not be an option, so you'll need to outsmart them. Use the environment to your advantage, create obstacles, and find high ground. It's all about creating distance and barriers between you and them. Then there are the thinkers. These zombies are the most dangerous because they possess some level of intelligence. They can strategize, make plans, and even use tools. Your best bet here is to be unpredictable. Change your patterns, confuse them, and always have a backup plan. Remember, you're trying to outwit, not outrun them. Finally, we have the instinctive eaters. They're driven by basic needs, making them somewhat predictable. However, their sheer numbers can be overwhelming. 
Your strategy here would be to blend in and avoid attracting attention. Think camouflage, silent movements, and minimal light or noise. In all these situations, remember, knowledge is power. Understanding the behavior of these zombies can mean the difference between life and undeath. Be adaptable, always ready to change your strategy based on the type of zombie you're facing. One size does not fit all in the world of zombie survival. And remember, your best weapon isn't a shotgun or a chainsaw, it's your mind. Use it wisely, keep it sharp and it will keep you alive. After all, the most dangerous predators are the ones who can think, plan and adapt. In this scenario, that's you. Remember, understanding is the key to survival. In the face of a zombie apocalypse, knowledge is your best weapon. We've explored this concept in depth, navigating the terrifying world of the undead and dissecting the behavior of different zombie types. It's clear that not all zombies are created equal, and understanding these differences is crucial for survival. Let's revisit the slow walkers, those decaying creatures we often see in classic horror films. They may not be quick, but their sheer numbers and relentless pursuit can pose a significant threat. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the sprinters. Agile, fast, and terrifyingly relentless, these creatures require a different set of survival strategies. We also delved into the thinkers, the zombies that display a certain level of intelligence. They're a stark reminder that we must always be on guard, ready to outsmart the enemy. And let's not forget the instinctive eaters, those zombies driven purely by their primal hunger. Their behavior is predictable, but that doesn't make them any less dangerous. Survival in such a world requires more than just physical strength. It requires intelligence, adaptability, and a deep understanding of the enemy. We've equipped you with some strategies, but remember, every situation is unique. Stay vigilant, stay prepared, and most importantly, stay alive. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more survival strategies and analyses. Remember, it's survival of the fittest out there.